So hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to create a logo slider with pure React.js. So if till now you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the notification bell. So without wasting the time, let's jump right into the video. So <clears throat> over here, as you can see, we are going to be using the React Slick package that is provided by react to us the last react carousel you will ever need here we do have multiple examples but we're going to be creating a logo slider so we need multiple of the items to be included in our carousel so just click on the documentation and come to the get started tab after coming to the get started tab you're going to be seeing over here the quick start documentation the first two link CSS files are for HTML. If you're using it in HTML CSS, you can just copy these two link styles lines of code and paste it bottom at the bottom of your head tag. But if you're using React like we are right now, we are going to be going through this installation step. So for installing the React Slick in your project, you need to copy this command from here and run it inside your terminal. And after that, we are going to be installing this CSS for this React Slick that is provided by them. So for installing that, you need to run this command, just copy it and paste it inside your terminal to install it in your project. That's it. After that, we are all set to create our local slider. So now we're going to be opening our VS Code editor. All right. So as you can see over here, we do have a simple function in which we have designed, defined a H1 tag with a logo slider with React. All right. So for building the logo slider, we're going to be importing that specific packages. So over here, first import the slider package from the React select package that we have installed. All right, guys. After that, we are going to be importing the CSS file that we have installed from the command they have provided us. So for importing that, they have provided us the code. We are not going to be copying it. We are going to be writing it manually. It depends on you whatever you would like to do. But for saving the time, I'm going to be copying the commands and I'm going to be pasting it right over here. Great. Now we are going to be importing our app.css file that will help us to style it later. So let's import our app.css file great now let's come back to our main browser over here come to the examples section here we're going to be getting the multiple section for multiple items as you can see over here for responsiveness you're going to be getting their codes their settings you can just go through them let's scroll down let's scroll down and come to autoplay here we can see we do have three items being displayed over here and we do have an auto play functionality also included. So this is the slider that we are going to be including for creating our logo slider. Let's come to our back to our code editor. And now for creating it, we are going to be removing this code that we have written over here and create a component other than a function. So for creating a component, you need to import the component from the react package. After that, for creating a component, we're going to be using the class that extends a component. And a component is going to be rendering the return. So let's use a render and in that we're going to be returning. Now we're going to be creating a div which is going to be having a class name of main container. In this, we're going to be having a H2 for our heading in which we're going to display logo slider with react now for creating the slider we are going to be using the slider tag that we have imported from the react slick package and now we need their settings to be implemented over here so before your return create a variable of settings that is going to be an object and it's going to take some values dots for the slider is going to be true infinite that means slider will run automatically every time it will be going on running it's infinite 
yes guys so we're gonna set it to true then how many slides we would like to show I would like to show three slides so I'm going to be selecting over here and how many slides you would like to scroll I would like to scroll one slide so I'm just going to be selecting one right over here after that for autoplay functionality we're going to be selecting the autoplay and set it to true then the speed of our autoplay logo slider is going to be 2000 that means 2 milliseconds and now the autoplay speed which is going to be 2 milliseconds after that we are going to be having the CSS ease effect that we are going to be setting it to the linear that's going to be the effect that we are going to be using for our logo slider when the user clicks manually on the arrow great now we have set all of our settings now come to your slider tag in this you need to provide an spread operator in which you need to call your settings variable simple now we are all set now the thing that is left to just import it, the images so how can we do that for saving the time I'm going to be creating a div in which I'm going to be having a class name that is going to be a container and in which we're going to be having the image included simple so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be removing this div and I do have the code already returned so I'm just going to be copying that and pasting it over here directly for saving our time great let's save it so now we are all set with our logo slider with react here they're giving us an alert that image elements must have an alert prop so no need of that just ignore that error if you would like you can just include it it depends on you so now let me just open my main browser all right and let me open my project over here boom guys as you can see we do have our logos being displayed over here here's our slick slider but you can see over here everything is meshed up it's not the problem of the package that we have installed the problem that we're getting over here is that the images are some images are in large size some images are in small size so for that we need to style it so let's come back to vs code editor let's open our app.css file and scroll down after our app link before our keyframes we are not going to be removing any kind of a code but we're going to be staying over here code starts from here the source code will be provided in the description below you can just go through my website click on the download button you will be having the access of my github repository just download it from there directly and you're free to use it and make changes great now first we are going to be selecting our h2 tag to which you're going to be providing a color of white and a text align is going to be center then we are going to be selecting our main container to which we are going to be providing it a margin from top and bottom and right and left that is going to be simple 10 pixels Now let me select my main container in which we're going to be selecting our container in which our images are included. For that we're going to be providing it a background color that is going to be let's go with hashtag 282C34. And the padding we are going to be providing it from top and bottom which is going to be 40 from right and left is going to be 0. Now we're going to be styling the images that is our main purpose to just provide it a same height and width and align the image in the center of our container so for that we're going to be selecting our image inside our main container we do have a container in which we do have an image element we are going to be providing it a height of 90 pixel so remember guys for making your image responsive with the same height and width in all mobile devices you need to not change width just don't change the width just change the height depending on the image you are working on so for this we are providing it a height of 90 pixel after that we are going to say that the image should be aligned and justified in the center of the container so for that we are going to be using the display flex display flex align the items in center 
justify content center margin zero auto and then we're going to say them that align the text in center all right guys we are all set now let's come back to the browser and let's see what's the result boom guys as you can see this is the result that we're getting right over here we do have a amazing logo slider that we have created with react in which we do have dots being displayed over here which is changing while our logos are sliding that looks really really good and amazing and you can in the mobile devices you can just change like that that means you can just touch this slide and you can just drag it wherever you would like to and you can just click on that for stopping it that's the power of the react slick slider with the help of this package that's react slick you can create multiple slider you can create a logo slider you can create a product slider you can create a normal slider with the image and context content included in it if you need a video on how to create a product slider how to create a text slider with react just comment down below i will create a separate video on it so that's it guys in this video you have learned how to create a logo slider with react it's the most important thing everyone is looking for everyone want to learn how to create a slider how to create a slider with javascript how to create a slider with react am i right or not yes guys so this video will help you a lot on how to create a logo slider with react if you need more tutorial videos on react like how to create multiple stuffs just comment down below in which you're facing the issues how to create that i will create it for you in a separate video till then thank you for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial video